Hi, today I'm going to walk you through signing up for online traffic school. The most important thing is to know where you received your ticket and not where you live, but where you received your ticket. So let's say you were driving in San Diego City or San Diego County, and you were driving in the city of El Cajon in San Diego County and you received your ticket, and it's at court code 37440 at the East County Courthouse, so we'd pick that courthouse. Now, if your court is somewhere else, like San Diego or Chula Vista, you know, you pick out the right courthouse to where your ticket's at, not to where you live, but to where you paid your ticket to and where you got your ticket at. If you got it in El Cone, if you got it in Vista, or if you got it in a totally different place, let's say Los Angeles. Well, in Los Angeles, all the tickets are handled by one court, as you can tell by the court code, it's all the same. So if you got your ticket in Los Angeles, you can pick any of those. So let's go ahead and just sign up. My name is George, I can put in my phone number. And then uh, I can put in my phone, my address, email address. And then I make up a password. So the email and the password is how you log into the course. This says what ticket we're going, where we're going to submit your completion to. So here uh, you would have received your ticket in Los Angeles. So we'd send it to the to the Los Angeles courthouse that handles all the tickets in Los Angeles. And, you know, you could pick any courthouse, any county. Just, it needs to match where you got your ticket at. So now that we're in the course, we get to the table contents. So the first thing we see here is all the chapters on the course. There's 12 chapters. So let's get to the course. So first we have to agree to the DMV disclaimer, which says that we have to finish by our due date. Next, we have to set up our fake identity question. So we just have to remember what we picked. And so to make things simple, choose the top answer of each question. So brown, bike, watching TV, and red. Now, as these come up in the, as you're doing the course, just always just pick the first one. So now we're in chapter one. Uh, there's 12 chapters, so we go ahead and we click on chapter 1.1, and we start reading. We read this page. And once we get to the bottom of the page, we want to click on next page. And it says, you have read one of six pages in this lesson. Click on the green next page button to move forward to the next page of reading. That's what we'll do. Now we're on section 1.2, chapter 1.2. So we go ahead and read this page. We click Next. We read this page and click Next. And again, here we read another page. We're almost there. We're five or six pages into this chapter. And now the button changes to take quiz. So now we take the quiz based upon our reading of that last chapter. Now, as we looked before in the, uh, we know that there's 12 chapters. Now the question two, speed is often a major factor in vehicle collisions. Well, what do you think? Probably true, right? This is the final exam's open book. Now that is true. The percentage of crashes and near crashes while dialing a phone are nearly identical to the number of crashes associated with talking or listening. Well, probably. Let's find out. Amazing. We got 100%. Let's continue. Now, here's our identity question. We picked the first one. So now we pick the first one there. So now we're on Chapter 2. Great. Let's take chapter two. So we read this page, and the instructions say, read this page, then click the green next page at the bottom. That's this button. That moves us to page 
2.2, chapter 2.2. Now we're going to go to chapter 2.3, and we're going to read chapter 2.3, and go to chapter 2.4, read that chapter, and read this one. And now we're going to see the take quiz. Let's take the quiz for chapter two. It is very easy to become distracted while driving, especially when unforeseen circumstances can arise within moments. Well, sounds right. Can you become distracted while driving? Sure. More than 3 million Americans have died due to vehicle collisions. Sounds, sounds true, right? Let's go for it. In almost all instances, traffic collisions involve damage to or loss of your vehicle. Well, if you're in a collision, there might be damage. But it doesn't say there's going to be damage every time. It says almost. So that sounds like it covers everything. So it must be true. Unsafe speed is the leading cause of vehicle crashes. Probably. But you know what? Let's, let's choose false and see what happens. So we check our answers, and we got the first three right. We missed one. It gives us that this is wrong and this is right, but that's okay. We can miss one, so let's continue to the next chapter. And so we have our identity question, which we chose the top one. Now we're on chapter three. So in chapter three, there are 10 pages of reading. So when we click on Start Chapter and we go to the bottom, it will tell us we are on reading uh, of 1 of 10. And so we can keep on moving through that. Now at the end of after Chapter 12, you will go to a page that looks like this one. And uh, this is the information we need to submit to the DMV. So your, your court will give you a case or docket number. Sometimes it's called citation number. You always have one of those. So whatever it might be, go ahead and put that in. And then pick your due date. Now, we don't actually use the due date of your ticket, but we do collect it because we're supposed to, but it doesn't really go anywhere. So just put in any date. It doesn't matter. And in Los Angeles, you have an LEA code, which is a four-digit code after your citation number, go ahead and put that in there. And then put in your driver's license number. Now your driver's license is what you get from the DMV and it allows you to drive. It's not your license plate number. It's a little plastic card from the state and that has your picture on it. So go ahead and put your driver's license number on here. And then your license state, in our case, is California. And then put in your, your uh, date of birth. Now we'll go ahead and put in our address. Now, it doesn't matter if you moved when you got your ticket. So if you got your ticket and you were living in California, but the next day you moved to Arizona, just put whatever is your current address. We do not send your address to the DMV. So just put in whatever is current and then hit submit. Now that will save your information in and we'll submit your completion with that information so that the DMV can look you up by your citation number, case number, or uh, your license. So the course is pretty easy. Just keep on going through, clicking the next page, working through the 12 chapters. At the end, there's a very simple final test. It's 25 questions, so you can miss seven. So you don't need to be perfect. Also, it's open book, so you can open up the whole course and look for answers. Uh, but you won't really need to because you can miss seven. You only need 18, right? So it's very simple. So uh, have that traffic school. It's real easy. And have a nice day. Thank you.